Hi, welcome back to Gearjunx TV and a new video. Today we're gonna take a look at the Bukla Easel command. The Bukla Easel command 208C, as this analog modular synthesizer is called, um, came out in 2020 as the third variant of the original music easel. It was released by Don Bukla in uh, 1973 as a performance synthesizer with a touch key, uh, keyboard and in a case. In the years that followed, the easel was produced, sometimes with uh, long breaks, more or less unchanged. The company's acquisition in 2012 led to a modified version in 2013 in which the keyboard became optional. But this was only production for a short time. And since 2020, uh, Bukla has offered this new easel command in this form, and it uh, also recently came out with the program manager card, which pairs the synthesizer with a computer. By the way, you can stay informed about all our videos by subscribing to our channel. Just click the subscribe button below the video, and you can hit the bell button to get notifications when there's something new on our channel. The command version sits in a nice wooden fold-out case with two master jack outputs, a USB interface and a MIDI in CV gate in, and options for a USB host controller, among others. Essentially, it's uh, still the same 1973 easel, which is fully analog and consists of a number of sections with two oscillators, an envelope, two VCAs, and filters, a clock circuit, random generator, and five step sequencer. There's also an analog stereo reverb built in. This version also includes quite a few enhancements and extras, such as a noise generator, additional audio in outputs, a custom layout, and a pulse switch. It is a fully modular synthesizer, which requires you to place bridges or cables before uh, sound comes out. And via USB and MIDI, it now responds to note information and MIDI controllers. Those functions were previously only possible with the separate Bukla LAM218 capacitive keyboard. The layout of the easel is quite clear, with the program interface at the top, various in and outputs and inverter preamp with envelope follower and two mix outs in the upper section. In the middle, this uh, slider section with from left to right the sequencer, envelope, pulser, oscillators and VCA section. And at the bottom a set of in and outputs for control voltage. Uh, Bukla uses banana plugs for this, where you can also stack the cables to control multiple inputs from one output. Everything works by color. The sequencer is blue, the envelope red, the modulation oscillator green, the complex oscillator is red, and the VCAs are black. All CV inputs are black, and the outputs for the sequencer are blue, for the random outputs they are white, and the LED of this function is also white. The pulse outputs are yellow, the envelope outputs are red. And then there are purple outputs that output pressure signals from a keyboard or MIDI control. The distances between the inputs and outputs are made so that you can put a bridge of two banana plugs to connect them. The easel has one complex oscillator, which in addition to pitch features timbre control and in the off position this produces a pure sine waveform. More timbre adds harmo extra harmonics which make the sound more complex and the oscillator has three more waveforms to choose from with a switch and the rotary knob determines the mix of the sine timbre with this extra waveform let's listen to the oscillator
there's a second oscillator, and this one is called modulation oscillator, and therefore also meant to modulate the complex oscillator. This can be done via the controller of, uh, of, on the easel itself, but it can also be done with, with control voltage. The oscillator has three waveforms and a low and high range setting. You can also use this oscillator separately, as it also has a pitch and modulation option. Let's listen to the oscillator. The easel has no filter section, like subtractive synths have. By setting the timbre low, the sound already contains fewer overtones, so a dedicated filter system is not necessary. Instead, a low-pass filter is integrated into the VCAs, creating a so-called low-pass gate. This is one of the most distinctive parts of Bukla designs. The LPGs work with light control, also called vectorals. If you put a higher voltage on the LPG, the circuit will get more light and the output will sound louder, but also the filter will open up, so more timbre comes out. If you bring the voltages down to zero, the gate closes and the filter closes. This happens with a natural delay caused by the properties of the light circuit. The lagging of the LPG is called ringing and gives a unique sound. And the easel LPGs have three modes, filter only, where the volume of the signal is constant, but the filter opens or closes. Then there's VCA only, where the volume varies, but uh, the filter is constant. And the combo mode, where the filter opens more as the volume goes up. Let's listen to the LPGs. Low pass filter mode. And combination. The easel offers a lot of modulation options. First, there's an envelope which includes attack, sustain, and decay. And unlike other synths, the shortest time can be set by turning the faders all the way up. All three controls can also be CV modulated. The pulses circuit provides a clock signal, which is not just a pulse, but it is actually a sawtooth. Therefore, it is also an envelope with only a decay time. So the slower the rate is, the longer the decay. It can either pulse uh, on an internal clock or on an external one, or be triggered once with the push button. The pulser is connected to the envelope to trigger it and to the sequencer to advance it one step and a random circuit, in which each pulse the circuit generates a different random voltage. The sequencer has five steps, adjustable with five faders, and for each step you can turn it on or off. 
I've built a little patch where you can hear uh, both the oscillators on the both VCAs. And one VCA is controlled by the envelope and the other one is controlled by the pulser. So it will have a different decay time than the other oscillator. Both oscillators are pitched by the sequencer and the sequencer is uh, um, controlled by the pulser. The pulser also controls the random voltage and the envelope generator. And I've added the random voltage to modulate the timbre of the complex oscillator. Let's start it and listen how it sounds. The easel is an incredibly precise instrument. Even a small adjustment of a fader can significantly affect the sound. Setting up a patch therefore requires precision and an understanding of how synthesis works with the bukla. The easel invites experimenting and you will soon figure out how the oscillators sound among themselves but when you start working with modulation, everything changes. It's a bit of a dark sound, enhanced by the spring reverb. The sequencer and pulser are secret weapons in sound design because they can be used as additional modulation sources. The banana plugs have a nice feel to it and are convenient to use, especially in combination with the bridges because they are stackable. Playing on the easel via MIDI or USB goes without any problems. Both pitch and pressure info comes in nicely and Bukla works with a 1.2 voltage per octave scale for pitch but the CV gate input on the back is just 1 volt per octave so you can connect a Eurorack compatible keyboard or sequencer to, to it. Here are a few patches made with the easel. <laughs>
You wouldn't think this, but the easel can work with presets. So how does this work? In the program interface slot on the top left, all the internal connections come together. Bookla has now released a program manager card for that. On this card is a memory chip where you can store the complete circuitry. There are 42 memory slots in total and there are three buttons on it to scroll through and select presets with the name of the preset shown in the display. But the card also features a USB-C connection. If you connect it to a computer with that, you can use the program manager software. This is an editor where you can see exactly the layout of the easel on the screen and you can draw in patch cables yourself and control the sliders and switches. There also uh, the easel responds directly to this so you can hear what you are making in real time. On the easel is a switch that in the local position ignores the card and in the road position links the card's preset to the easel. And in the both position you can hear the card preset but you can supplement it with the easel sliders. It works great and is a clever piece of engineering to make the original 1973 design fully computer controlled like this. Let's take a look at uh, the Bukla Music Easel uh, software. Uh, the program manager software is uh, connected to the card uh, that we just uh, saw on the Bukla Music Easel. And uh, when it is, it says connected here. On the right you have um, the presets that are stored here on the computer and by uh, selecting one it uh, gets automatically loaded into the music easel. So let's uh, take one here and see what happens. Now we can already hear that the easel is playing this and every parameter that we have here um, can be modified in real time and you can also hear that the easel responds to it. Now what's uh, interesting is that you can actually do some things with the software that the hardware cannot do. If we take a look at the depth setting here, this um, shows you the depth of the CV uh, voltages that are occurring in, in these patch cables that, uh, that are here in this patch. And um, they cannot be only positive but can also be applied as negative voltage which is something the hardware cannot do. So in this way you can um, not only use this software to program uh, sounds into the music easel but you can also do something different with it. And um, if you are happy with a preset and you uh, press save to card it gets stored into the card and you can use it um, offline later for instance for a live performance. So um, let's take a listen to uh, some of the patches that are here.
Bukla Easel Command is a unique musical instrument. It sounds convincing and is actually limitless in terms of possibilities. Above all, it's also very precise and equipped with a lot of handy inventions, so it never feels limited. You can make all kinds of sounds with it, from simple basses and leads to experimental industrial sequences. It is very nice that you can now control it via MIDI and USB, and there's a bridge to the UREC world with the 1V per octave inputs. But especially through the program manager card and the computer editor, you can compose sounds even more precisely, and this modular synthesizer is also great to use as a live performance device offering presets through the program manager card. A special instrument that you have to give some time to get uh, familiar with, but you will enjoy it for a long time and it will provide you with a lot of inspiration. Well, that was it for today. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, then please give us a thumbs up or subscribe to our channel to see all our videos in the future. I'll see you next time.